Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that we will do a video in a different environment again because I get bored having the same background. If you guys don't know me, my name is Anuja and I do videos on lifestyle, music and beauty. If you want to keep watching these videos, please do subscribe to my channel and show me your support. Initially my plan was to actually do a favorites video, but it's like halfway through June and it doesn't make sense to do one now. Now because of that I'm doing a video on two of my favorite exfoliators. After that I'm going to touch on a very important topic and I urge you to hang around just to have a listen to my spiel because I think it's really really important. So if you don't know what exfoliation or exfoliators are, essentially those are products that help to remove the dead skin on the outer surface of your skin. And by this, I mean the skin of the face, but also the whole body. To be honest, I didn't really get into exfoliation until maybe a year ago. I didn't think it was important and I would just use like random facial cleansers and face wash and things like that. But I honestly do see a really big difference of using exfoliators. Now this first product I actually purchased a couple of months ago and I have been loving it since. Um, it is the Pure Fiji Coconut Sugar Scrub. And the one that I have is like a big tub, I know. The first time I got it, they gave me those like, it's not a sampler, but they have small ones as well. I was just so impressed that I had to get a bigger version. And it's the Guava one, which is so, so nice. This essentially has sugar plus a lot of oils including coconut oil and macadamia oil and the granulated sugar is actually fresh sugar cane crystals now at the moment it's quite hot and it's sort of melted which is fine because that's how i love to use it um, and the top bit that you see is essentially the oil seeping through i don't think i've ever loved an exfoliator this much and the reason why i love it is so usually i use it twice a week or something and especially if you wax this is one of the best products to use so the way that i use it is i use this purely on my body i don't use it on my face because i feel like it's a bit too harsh for your face it comes with a little scooper one of those scoops is enough for your whole body and sometimes it's too much as well so what you do is you rub it on your skin give yourself a good massage and then the sugar dissolves and what you're left with is oil essentially um, and what I like to do is just leave that oil on my body for at least two minutes before I wash it off and your skin is so moisturized so clean and so fresh like I love that feeling I highly recommend that if you can get one of these please go grab one because you will love it especially during winter time when your skin goes really dry like this would be so amazing and so handy to have. I actually got it from a shop called About Face. They do waxing and things like that. But I'm pretty sure you can get it from pharmacies, like if you're in New Zealand or Australia. I will leave the links to their website down in the description bar below. So make sure you go check it out. If you are someone who shaves or waxes your body, just make sure that you do have exfoliation as a part of your routine because that will actually reduce the number of times you get ingrown hairs and things like that. The second product that I want to talk to you about is something that I've been using for the past month or so. It was actually recommended by my sister and you can get this from your local supermarkets if you live in New Zealand and Australia. It is the Asano Rose Hip Exfoliator. Now this is a facial exfoliator so I don't use it anywhere else in my body. When I first tried it I was a bit hesitant or I was a bit like skeptical but over time I could see that my skin was just loving it and it was so gentle as well it wouldn't leave you with irritated skin or anything like that. So many good things about this product and this brand and one of them is that it's organic. So it's made from natural ingredients. Now what they're saying is they've got rosehip bio exfoliants, organic rosehip oil and active natural botanicals included in this. And the second thing is it's microbead 
free. And I will touch on why I think that is really, really important and why I'm now buying things that are micro bead free. I use this every morning and sometimes at night as well if I've had a really busy long day or if I had worn heavy makeup. It doesn't take off your makeup so you need to make sure that you have something else to just wipe all the makeup off and then afterwards to clean your face and to give it a bit of exfoliation this is the perfect product. And all you do is just dampen your skin, put this on, um, exfoliate and then wash it off. This product is actually made in New Zealand which made me so proud um, because I love supporting New Zealand made brands and products. Especially if you have sensitive skin, exfoliation can be quite a difficult thing to do. So this would be something that you can try and see if your skin loves it. Mine honestly does. So highly, highly recommended. Now I've promised to touch on a topic very important and it's essentially about reducing your plastic footprint. This whole discussion came from the topic of microbeads. Before I was using the Asana Rosehip exfoliator, I was using facial cleansers or exfoliators that had microbeads. And I had no idea that microbeads were actually plastic. So they're essentially microplastics. And then it made me think, so I'm washing my face with this product and all those beads are going down the drain. Where does it end up? What I discovered, and there's been a lot of research on this, a lot of like documentaries and YouTube videos on it, essentially it ends up in our oceans. If you think about it, our oceans give us life. It produces oxygen, it gives us food, it reshapes our climate so it's very very important that we look after them so essentially we've turned our oceans into our plastic playgrounds there are those plastic waste materials that you can obviously see because they're so big but then there are these microplastics that we don't really see or we don't even think about. According to scientific research, about a quarter of our planet's surface is actually covered with microplastics. Like that just made me so, so sad that I was actually contributing to something like that. Because one tube of those facial cleansers can actually hold about 300,000 beads. So after I got the facts, I was like, no, I'm not having it. And that is actually one of the reasons why I got this product because it said it's microbead free. And that was very important to me. Now, when the microbeads settle in the ocean, you can imagine how it can be interpreted as fish eggs to fish that obviously prey on them. Now while the microbeads don't actually decompose, they do absorb chemicals and toxins. And when the fish eat them, you can imagine that, you know, up the food chain, we're at the top. So we're actually getting these into our bodies as well. So it essentially affects a whole spectrum of things that we should be taking care of. From a young age, I was taught that you should leave a place a little bit better than you found it. And that applies to the world and actually we're not really doing a good job at it. And this change starts with you, just one person trying to do the right thing and it sort of escalates into something amazing. So I urge you to think about what I told you because, you know, like me, you might not have known that those were actually plastics and it was actually destroying our oceans and our fish. So I have gone microbead free. The products that contain microbeads I have actually thrown out. Just have a think about it. I mean, we have to think about our future generation as well and how we'd like to spend our old age. And I'm so proud of you guys who are recycling and making sure that you don't put plastic waste and things like that into our lakes, into our rivers, into our beaches. It's these habits that will ultimately lead to us recovering everything else that we've done to the world. So that is my spiel. I hope that none of you are offended. This is just to stimulate your thinking into considering how the products you're using actually has other consequences. Like I said, I honestly love these products. You know, both of them are microbead free and it leaves your skin feeling like a baby's bottom. So <laughs> I am very happy with those. I will leave the links to those products down in the description bar below so that you can check them out. I really want this channel to be more than just beauty. 
I feel like it should be, you know, beauty with a purpose as well. So if you have any other topics that you want me to talk about, please leave them in the comment section below. Give it a like if you enjoyed the video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will certainly be back with another video and until then, hope you're well, hope you're smiling and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.